How's it going YouTubers? And I'm again with another video for the ECP YouTube channel. Today I'm fitting up a Zunspot front lower grill for my ST. Now it is for the preface ST. I don't know what the difference is, but I think there is. So you might want to check that out. But yeah, furthermore, let's get to it. Right everyone, so what we need to do, we need to remove this lower grill. Obviously this bit here and where your number plate is. So you're gonna have to relocate your number plate but what I'm doing it is I've ordered a vinyl number plate copy and I'm gonna probably stick it on there or some people like to stick them on the side there. But just cause uh, I don't want to get the police upset with me at all, I'll just put it straight there. So it looks like it is where it's meant to be. Now to get this front grill, front grill off is it's quite difficult. It has, as you can see, I've pulled away this first edge, clips all the way around. So it is fastened in really hard. Now, there's it's three ways you can do it. You can sort of do it the way I've done it, is where I've just pulled the corner out and I just start pulling it out bit by bit. But what that will do, that will snap every piece of it. So you won't be able to fasten it back in place. Now, for me, I'm not bothered because I would never refit it. I don't see why I'd want to refit it because I'm gonna have a nice zoom spot, uh, new grid on there. Uh, if you want to get it out neatly, you're probably going to have to take the whole bumper off so you can get to all the clips and undo the clips properly. Uh, if you're going to do it that way, check out my uh, video on how to install an intercooler because on there I tell you and show you how to take off your front bumper. Uh, so you can do it that way or you can get a pair of clips and just cut away the whole lot and take it out piece by piece it's entirely up to you but uh, I'm going to just rip mine off and break all the uh, clips and the flanges uh, hopefully they won't do any damage to the car but we're going to find out now there you go everyone there's the front grill off and actually funny enough I actually did it pretty well I've got most of it off without breaking the clips someone did someone did and excuse me now obviously you've got one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight on the top and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on the bottom. So you know that is faster than really hard. Now I got quite lucky here when I pop the corner off and give it a little bit more of a yank. They all just sort of popped off. The bottom was the hardest. Now you can't really pull the bottom too difficult because obviously you've only got this bottom piece, which is quite flimsy where the top is hard. Well, it's more, more stronger. Right, so yeah, we've done that now. So that's what it looks like without the grid in place. Nice new intercooler sat there with the nice blue STs sign on it. So what we're gonna do now is get the, uh, the new grill and get that fitted. Right guys, I've just literally located the new grill in place in about 10 seconds. Now, uh, Sunspot recommend you put some masking tape around the edge just to protect the paintwork in case you, uh, you catch it, but I, I haven't and I didn't need it. Now, on the Sunspot grills, you, as you see it, as you look at it right now in your hand, there's two flanges there and two flanges there. And then there's two fixings on either side. Now, what you need to do is locate the two flanges and the two existing apertures that are in place that held the original grill in. So you slide the Zunspot up, then you slide the two at the bottom into the two apertures at the bottom. So you locate them. Then on one side, you don't need to do much. You just need to bend it and in place so it sits in place. Then go to the other side and bend it in place again then once it's sat where it needs to be you need to tighten up the two end fixings that hold it in place <laughs> i've actually mine's actually stuck in there so i'm gonna have to pop that out and redo it again but yeah so once you've fitted it in place then you have to move it tighten up the two fixings at the sides there we go everyone there's the new zone spot grill fitted in place and you know what i i love these I think these make a huge difference to the look of the car at the front. Obviously I haven't got the front one 
uh, purchased and bought. I mean, the front one's almost the same. Uh, sorry, the top one is almost the same as the bottom in my eyes. Hundred odd pound for a little piece of grill is a bit over the top. Uh, so I'm going to probably spray paint the original black to match the new one at the bottom. But yeah, that. It is expensive, I will post it to the link to where I purchased it from, I think it was about £115 delivered. Uh, so yeah, it is an expensive piece of basically mesh metal. It's not, there's not hundred and some pounds worth of gear there, but nevertheless, it really does change the look of your car. You can see your ST better, better airflow because you haven't got the number plate in the way. So all around, yeah, it's worth it. There we go everyone, there's a video to how to fit a lower Zunspot grill to a preface Focus ST Mark II. Uh, very straightforward, very simple. Uh, so, you know, you can't really get it wrong, but never mind. Just bear in mind that that was for a preface uh, Focus Mark II. Uh, I don't know if there's a difference between a preface uh, or not, but just bear in mind that when uh, ordering your Zunspot grill, that you do get the right one for your year. I think anything from 2008 upwards uh, is not the preface. Uh, all prefaces are 2007 downwards. I do, I do believe there is a difference, but uh, don't quote me on that. Now, I hope it helped. If you did, please look like the video. Support the channel by subscribing and sharing the video. Uh, increase the volume of followers for the YouTube channel, which will soon turn into a automotive club as well. So thank you for watching anyhow, and I'll see you in the next one.